Okie dokie. Well, morning, everybody. Um, well, I need to preface this by saying that it's a, it's been a very, very long time since I ever made a video like this. Um, I do these myself. Um, I, or let me rephrase it. I did these myself back in the day, so I'm kind of out of practice, so there's maybe a few mistakes made here and there. So, yeah. But before, uh, before I talk more, um, I'm going to have this music going in the background. It's the Angling Loser, Arena of Apprehension. Uh, just seemed kind of appropriate. Yeah, I got to check and make sure it's working. There it goes. Okay, so um, I had just found... Hang on, let me back up a little bit. Um, I'm also doing this because... I had started working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post. I had started typing this down, but I just realized that I'm going to be doing a whole metric ton of typing if I did. So, to spare me a whole bunch of time in typing, I'm just going to go ahead and make a video about what I'm wanting to talk about. And then I'll just go ahead and uh, post the video up on my blog. So. But yeah, I just found out this morning that um, fighting game legend Broly Legs, he passed away. I, nobody, I, I want to say, I don't want to say details are uncertain, just nobody knows the cause of death. Uh, but yeah, I, I figured I'd want to, again, when I started on my blog, I figured I wanted to say something. Because he's pretty much, he's had a pretty big uh, impact on my gaming life. Um, he was, he was the one that got me back into fighting games. I, I think I played them like back in the 90s. Uh, Street Fighter 2, uh, Mace the Dark Age, I mean all those, all those old ones. Um, but I was one of those that, it got to where I would get to an arcade right when the place opened up because nobody else is there I could actually play these things myself and not have some some guy who's played these a hell of a lot more than I have gets in pops in his quarters and then proceeds to kick my ass worse than the computer ever could you know so yeah so after at some point I think probably like in the 2000s or someplace I just I pretty much swore off of them I my the game I played last was uh, Def Jam Fight for New York on the uh, PlayStation 2. So, yeah. Um, fast forward to, I want to say the late 2010 someplace. I, I kind of want to say uh, 2019. Just on my lunch break at work, uh, watching YouTube stuff. And then um, one video came up, uh, Cosmonaut Variety Hour, The Appeal of Fighting Games. I don't know. I probably, I probably choked on my food or something, right? Just... <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Humor me, Cosmo. <laughs> so, I started watching it, and for the most part, it pretty much went in one eye and out the other. He's basically just, you know, praising fighting games to the high heavens. Um, And then uh, they got to a part where... Hang on, I gotta turn this down a bit. So, yeah, it just... Oh, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Well, yeah, like I, like I said, it it was just, you know, something to watch during my lunch break. And then it got to a part where he showed up. He showed up Broly like He showed Broly likes playing. Like, the guy literally plays games with his mouth. Um, like, he... There was some kind of long technical name for his disease, but his arms and legs didn't want to grow. But his uh, his head and neck and torso and all that, they grew like normal. But yeah, he he learned to play fighting games by you by using his mouth. So I I saw that. I went to the went to the documentary that it, that they had on him watching it. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. So, I thought at that point, um, 
you know, maybe I should uh, go ahead and give fighting games another go because me and like lots of other people, I mean, I and I had watched like Evo tournaments like in the two, I think probably in the, I want to say in the mid, like early to mid 2010s, you know, Daigo, Justin Wong, Infiltration, uh, PR, Bal PR Balrog, another legendary Japanese player, I can't remember his name, he's known for the demon face, he took a tape, he likes to take a tape measure and measure the distance from his face to the TV screen. But yeah, the, the name escapes him, but him too, like all those old legends. I mean, I was watching Evo tournaments, but I I was staying way the fuck away from that, from those fighting games, though. Especially when you watch all the crazy shit that they're doing. You, you kind of begin to think that that's the standard. And um, I I think I actually had Street Fighter 4. Um, I had Street Fighter 4 in Steam. I play it. Or try to, you know, try to do the, trying to do the fireball motions and all that, trying to do the special moves. Um, so yeah, but this was before I saw the uh, Cosmo video, you know. So that was, that's always been my problem. Um, but yeah, then I saw Broly legs and I'm like, uh oh, um, okay, maybe I'm wrong about this. So. Kind of going a little off the subject, but uh, also around this time, Corey Gaming videos started appearing on my uh, YouTube recommendations. So, started watching a bunch of these. I'm like, damn man, I wish this shit was around back in the 90s when I was actually playing fighting games in the arcades. Well, oh, granted, when nobody was around. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of water real quick. So yeah, um, the I think the fir first game uh, I picked up was Fantasy Strike. It was like there was like some kind of difficulty chart, dive kick being on one on the easy end, and then every other fighting game on the hard end. <laughs> Fantasy Strike was right in the middle, so I just picked that up. But but yeah, um, I don't want to go too far off the trail, but yeah, he's but yeah he he meant a lot. Um, I would sometimes I'd uh, sometimes I'd watch his streams. Um, I'm I'm the kind of person, especially uh, these days, I'm a I'm a streamer and content creator myself. Um, I don't really watch a whole lot of streamers now. But yeah, I I'd, I'd, I'd watch uh, some of his some of his once in a while. I watch some of his uh, his regular videos once in a while. Yeah, he's he's gonna be missed. Oh, I forgot to say earlier, I found out about his death through button check. It's a it's a pretty famous uh, YouTube channel. So yeah, I found found out through that. Yeah, I can't. Now. I guess uh, one question I asked myself while while making this while uh, setting this all up and stuff, um, I mean, I I'd, I'd kind of like to get back into fighting games again, but one big stumbling block I have is my computer. It's about as stable as a nitroglycerin milkshake. I mean, just plugging something in and out of the USB of a one of my USB ports can crash my computer now. So I'm, I'm pretty much reduced to uh, once in a while playing probably my all-time favorite fighting game, Footsies, and then uh, Mega Knockdown. But those uh, those are fighting games that nobody really plays. So but, uh, even then, I don't, I only play those like you know, like once in a very great while. And the uh, best of all, they don't crash. They don't crash on my computer.
But yeah, um... There was something else I was wanting to say. I can't remember what. Oh, fuck, what was it? Yeah, in case anyone hasn't noticed, I don't... All of my content is uh, improvised one takes. So I don't have a script or anything. But yeah, um, I guess now's about as good a time to stop as any. Kind of an abrupt end, but yeah, um, Broly, you're gonna be missed. Like I said, you're big part of my big part of my gaming life. Got me back into fighting games again. Albeit uh, very rare these days. Oh, that was that that was something else. But yeah, I there was a period for a few years. Yeah, it was. Uh, Fantasy Strike, Dragon Ball Fighters, Killer Instinct, um, Capcom Fighting Collection, Street Fighter Collection. Um, I dabble in all those a little bit. There was another one. I'm not good with games right now. I'm, I'm not good with names right now. You're a yellow, you're a yellow pixel guy with a sword. It was a guest character on Dive Kick. Yeah, I... Kind of embarrassing. I gotta pull up my damn Steam page. Knee Dog, yeah. Yeah, I call it a fighting game, believe it or not, so... But, I guess, um... Uh... I guess I'll call it good here. I think I think I've said all the things I wanted to say. And uh, uh, once again, Memoriam, uh, Broly, you're gonna be missed, dude. So, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.